Weak crude prices are taking a toll on China's oil and gas industry. Both Sinopec and China National Petroleum Corporation, the country's two biggest fuel producers, have reported, well, dying profits. Dong Yiling reports from Shanghai. According to its interim financial report, Sinopec's net profits decreased 22.3 percent in the first half of 2015 to 24.4 billion yuan. And China National Petroleum Corporation, also known as PetroChina, reported a 62.7 percent fall in net profits to 25.4 billion yuan in the same period. The decrease was mainly due to international oil prices hovering at low levels. The international crude price has averaged about 58 US dollars a barrel in the first half of this year, down 47 percent from the same period in 2014. However, Zhao Chen from Orient Securities notes that the fall in oil prices has had a different impact on each. Around 80 to 90 percent of PetroChina's profits come from oil exploration, though the fall in crude prices has affected it a lot. On the other hand, for Sinopec, its upstream business is pretty small. Imports account for most of its crude. Therefore, the price fall was a double-edged sword for Sinopec. It cut the profits of the upstream business, but also reduced the cost of the downstream business. For PetroChina, because of the fall in the crude price, profits for its crude exploration business was 33 billion yuan, down 68 percent. On the other hand, due to the decrease of the cost of crude oil, PetroChina's oil refining and chemical products business made profits of 4.7 billion yuan. It was the first time that division had made money in four years. For Sinopec, oil refining, which accounts for 60 percent of its business, saw profits soar 57 percent to 15 billion yuan. Wang Qiang from China Galaxy Securities predicts that the international oil prices will remain low for the second half of the year. Iran has nuclear issues, so its crude exports were suppressed because of sanctions after 2012. As sanctions have been eased now, their exports are expected to increase, and the output of OPEC's member nations has continued to increase in the last five to six months, the record high for the past several years. As the global oil price is likely to keep fluctuating at a low level, analysts believe that oil industry profits in the second quarter are likely to be the highest for the year. Third quarter profits are expected to decrease further before a small rebound in the fourth quarter, when crude demand will rise on the need for winter heating oil. Dong Yiling, ICS for CCTV, Shanghai.